today we're going to do an uh, installation and review of this PCIe a water block for NVMe uh, for a Sabre Rocket 4.0 NV, uh, PCIe. Uh, it's getting pretty hot. Let's put it on. All right, right there is where we want to go in. Right underneath where it says Raystorm Pro, you can barely see x 578 Aorus Master. All right, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and try to refocus. So right under that water block, you can see the NVMe drive. That's where we're going. So on the chip side, it says put the gray, but black, it's pretty much black. Here they are, we're fixing to look at these. Um, blue and black kind of give you an idea and this is online right where we're looking right now just one of the sites that sells these barrels all right we'll come down here to the table and take a look at our parts try to get another focus here okay this is the bottom of it we're about to put it in there goes towards the bottom of the motherboard or there's a black and two blue thermal strips. We just looked at the picture. Blue goes on where like where the sticker would be. The black goes on, on the chips. There's four screws that go in here. I'm not taking them out of the bag yet. And here is here is the water block. Let's see if you can see um, the barrel on there. I don't know. Yeah, you should be able to see that. It's the, I bought the kit, I got so much RGB and I don't need any more RGB, but there's a hole on this side if you, if you get it with the kit, uh, you can get an RGB color and a remote if you want all that, I already got way too much RGB. So there's the block, what happens here, it goes together like this, screws together, and then it's going going in the system right there right down there okay what I'm doing now is I'm just screwing up two couple 45s and fittings and I'm going to use one of my uh, just my pet G tubes in here just to get it into a trash can I don't even need two 45s on here really um, I guess I, I might, doesn't matter we'll go straight down that way if I, or if I take one of them off, then I can put this end fitting on. And I'll go at a 45 degree out of this pump, straight into my trash can. So I'm just, I ain't even putting the cap on here. I'm just getting it past my O-rings. just for drainage all right here's my trash can down here that tube is going straight to my trash can all right I'm opening this thing up all right you can see none of it's coming through because I haven't let this air, top air out and it's got a suction on it. So I'm going to go slow so I don't just start. There it's coming out now. Take that cap off. There goes my water into the trash can. So in my water cooling video on uh, why pay more, I got a list for all these parts right here. So I'm just going to straighten some stuff up. I'll probably end up disassembling this. I can see I got lots of water still in there. So let me plug this bad boy on. Let's kick it on for a second. Alright, so this is how I decided to drain this. Um, I tried it once, kind of standing up, didn't work. Half the water stayed in it. 
So I already attached the fitting to this valve right here. So I'm gonna get this pipe in here, drain pipe, get it to a trash can. Down below, got my trash can down here. Appropriately located, so my plan is turn it on, let the pump do most work. I got a radiator up here, and one on the top over here, right here. And hopefully, we're gonna find out if this will get most of this radiator right here because it's the same level right here. Fix and find out. Let's turn this guy on and start uh, pumping. So right now we're opening up the valve. So not very much water came out at all. I mean a little bit straining slowly. You can see the water level. We'll know. So as long as it's pumping, which it should stop about right here, I should get movement. All right, the water is pretty much stopped draining. You can see the level still in it. I mean, it's dripping out of there with this. So I'm going to have to give it some air. But I don't really want it to start dripping all over the table. So I'm going to get some paper towels. Just in case. Try not to look fan sucking up because that is the way the fan's going oh, yeah. so I'm going to start opening this top here see if it'll get some air in there okay I'm getting more water coming out any progress getting some drainage out of this thing uh, I don't know if you can see these pipes are still full right here and I can see air bubbles coming up Respect. I'm going to put a second valve at the other side of the loop. All right. Uh, so I got a lot drained. So what I'm doing now is taking out this Sabrent rocket so we can look at it. Peeling it back. There it came. And there's the pad that was with it. Um, there's a secondary screw here. Let's see if I can find that other one first. Here's the NVMe. It's got a little indention you can see wherever. Let's see, I'm trying to stay in focus here. Checking my camera skills today. Here's the Sabrent um, rocket. PCIe4. Here's the master cover that was on it. Let's see, you can see that. So there's the black padding that was on top of it. I'm looking at this chip and where I might need, there's two chips here and there's chips on this side. So if I stick with this plan that we looked at yesterday. It says the one with chips on it, you're supposed to use the black pad. However, this thing looks like it's got chips on both sides. 
So I'm probably going to put black pad there, black pad there, and black pad all the way across this back side. Um, we looked at the container yesterday, so let me get that out. All right, here's some cute stuff for you to look at. Saber Rocket PCIe 4 version. Got the top sticker peeled off, and that's what it looks like. And this is cute, and I wanted you to see the back side. There's some chips on the back side. Can you see that? <laughs> How about that? Right there. This is the back side of it. So this sticker on the back side had a void printed all over that thing. So my uh, warranty is voided, which is fine. I knew that was going to be the case once I peeled those stickers off. I can see that Fizon controller now. Come back down into view. Changing it. A little close with the camera, so I don't know how well that's going to be in focus. Traffic. Should be holding by those points. Alright, let's go back getting the block ready. <clears throat> Alright, so there's the block itself, the barrel, the top of it. You can see it there. Um, so, I'm going to end up using black on both sides. I have a, somewhere in my uh, box here, I've got some extra black I'm going to put on these chips and these ones since black or gray is supposed to cover the chips. And I honestly don't know the difference, but I think the black is more thermal conductive. So let me get that started. We'll do one side right now. So I'm going to flip this thing over and I'm trying not to bump the camera anymore. I've got another pack, this black thermal pads and this time I'm just going to cut and fit these three blocks. Um, Alright, we changed the view a little bit and put a little light in there. It's where we could, you could help me or you guys can see a little bit better. It's a really tight fit and I'm not even sure it's fitting correctly. I'm looking right now. get my angle and I'll set the light. All right, we're starting in to got the block on there. I got some paper on here. Uh, just in case. And what I'm doing now is taking this off. I've got to shorten it up. Okay, that's gone. Now what I'm going to put here, I thought I brought it over here. I'm going to grab it real quick. Another 90, that's two 90s. You go straight into the all right, two 90s to go straight into this block back here. I don't want to loosen things too much. And I'm 
checking my angle from this side and it's way too high and wow just take that out checking all right i've got the bottom pipe on there uh, coming off the gpu into the nvme water block and i shortened the one coming off the cpu uh, import to match the length of the one right next to it and now i'm going to make the last two there's two connections there to make to the other side of the water block coming out of the water block into the cpu so i'm going to finish that up right now so i'm getting out another another l type like this one getting all rings out of here put inside of the fitting all right from the side it looks like it's almost perfect so now I just got to get one more pipe in between those two so I'm gonna eyeball it put it to where I want it This last tube right there so I got o-rings in the fittings there so I'm going to stick it in in one and I'm going to make sure I feel I feel to passing two one two all the way in there that feels good you know what I'm talking about All right, I got some more clear and I'm just doing a quick check to see if I see anything so far. Looking good, I think.
Yeah, green. All right, there it is. This took me an extra hour because this tube right here I cut too long and I couldn't get the video card seated. Right now I'm bleeding air in it. And I'm going to try to get some of this coloring out of it because I added too, too much, too many colors. So I'm bleeding air and you can see my windows right there. It's a uh, button in focus, but yeah, it's back up and running. And there it is. Uh, finally got all that sorted out. So you can see how the pipes go right there. That's it. Uh, we'll wrap it up here. We're going to show you a few more things and we're done. Alright, so I took a chance when I uh, water cooled this Sabrent Rocket NVMe PCI Express 4.0 1 terabyte. Um, warranty is definitely vo void as you can see by the back of the stickers there. <laughs> they wanted to make it very clear. And uh, it's a heck of a fast, it's just a fast NVMe. PCIe 4.0 uh, but it gets hot and same between the CPU and GPU and right there you can see it between the CPU on top and GPU on bottom and hopefully there will never be a leak because you can see what's going to get destroyed if there is one looks like I need to peel off some plastic on the left hand side that I never did from when I installed that gigabyte AORS master so there is RGB available for it. I've got a ton in my computer already, so I did not buy this little one port controller. Uh, there's the dimensions and you can see that in where you buy it also. This is when it was brand new. It was a little bit faster, so just some specs for you. And this is after six months, a little bit slower. And I've I've found that depending when you run it, you'll get different results up and down, up and down. Depending if anything's else running, you, you never know what's running in the background. And this is the C drive. So this is before, and you can see during at the end of the test there, crystal disk mark, that I got I was running at 59C during the final write, and it had gotten up to 63C. And this is the last slide. This is after water cooling. The speeds are nearly the same as before, but I'm 20C plus lower, uh, 38C when the test is finished, and 42C at the uh, maximum. So I would say it's good results. And thanks for watching. And as always, fast forward through the parts you don't like. You don't have to leave any comments. I know I made mistakes. But thanks. And like, follow, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll catch you on the next time.